Alright, so on this channel we've already discussed the Nephilim extensively. Nephilim are, of course, giants. Humanoid deformities. They're not regular humans. They're not natural. They're abnormal in nature. But here's the thing. Something occurred to me, and it was pretty damn intriguing, you know what I mean? So I wanted to make a video on the Nephilim, the giants themselves, versus the legendary beast known as the ogre so ogres let's get into it we haven't discussed ogres much yet on this channel so ogres of course are considered to be mythological beings at least now they are right but it wasn't always this way beings like this have pretty much always been believed to be real. Only recently have they been been considered, you know, part of mythology and myth and whatnot. But uh, deformities like this, like these beings, you know, like this Nephilim here and this ogre coming up, you know, these creatures are said to be a subspecies of the human race or the human lineage in general. But either way, they're both savages, they're both barbaric, they're both absolutely monstrous. And looking at an ogre, you can see that it has similar armor and weaponry to the Nephilim because they had a similar level intellect. They had a, a level of intelligence that was at least somewhat close to that of a human's. But an ogre is actually probably physically stronger than a Nephilim. But a Nephilim is craftier and more clever. So let's, let's be fair here and let's scale these beings you know, based off of the fact that the sizes vary throughout the depictions, let's scale the uh, ogre to be, what, 13 feet, maybe 14, and we can make our Nephilim like 15 feet tall, right? And that makes sense, right? So anyway, yeah, in a fight to the death, a death battle with bloodlust on, a death match, I'm thinking that a Nephilim is going to be able to get the upper hand. I'm thinking a Nephilim is going to be able to outsmart the ogre and use it as its prey, you know. And the ogre, yeah, it's definitely going to have weaponry and it's going to have a lot of strength and it's going to be able to fight back and there's going to be that fight or flight instinct triggered, but it's obviously not going to choose flight. It's going to choose fight and it's going to be absolutely monstrous. But the thing is, the Nephilim is also huge and also able to use whatever weapon it needs and whatever means necessary to take down the ogre. So I'm saying, in my personal opinion, and I'd love to hear yours, I'm saying that I believe that the Nephilim could take down the ogre as seen here. So yeah, ogres are fascinating, and they aren't normal beings. They are said to be, like I said, deformities, you know, abnormalities. But um, either way, you know, I think that the Nephilim, as seen here, would win the fight, and uh, yeah, they would definitely prosper in my opinion, but yeah, so it's been your boy Dyson, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you like my content, and uh, yeah, so shit, Dyson, signing off.